You know what really grinds my gears as a worship tech director, worship leader? Let me show you, look at this. This poor little cable, it's just, it's, it's, it's orphaned, it's abandoned, it's on the floor, no home, it's, it's out in the cold, it's probably hungry, it needs a home. Fortunately, it does have a home. I don't know why someone abusively neglected this patch XLR cable, but the home is right here. XLR patch, which means short XLR cables. I want you to put some like happy music or something like that. Here's another thing that grinds my gears. Look at this bin. Okay, at least it has the right cables inside of it. This is the XLR long bin, but it was just left out here on the floor. Again, cold, alone, hungry. It needs a home. On the shelf, on the other bins, this is home. So I want to talk about three simple things. That's actually probably more than that, but three big things that is really going to save you a ton of time for your worship ministry. I cannot imagine how much time and resources churches waste every day, every year on worship leaders and tech directors, especially those of you guys who are on staff, searching for the right piece of gear, just trying to clean up mess, getting things untangled. I know a lot of man hours are wasted. That means a lot of dollars are wasted. I know, I know for some of you, you get paid in treasures in heaven. So a lot of treasures in heaven are also wasted by your time being wasted on disorganization. So let's solve the organization crisis right now in this video. Step number one is go to a Lowe's or a Home Depot and get bins, lots and lots of bins. So we've got various size bins. Every bin then has a label. So while you're at Lowe's, if you do not have a label maker, please, please, please get a label maker. So then when you have a random piece of gear or a cable that needs a home, you're gonna be able to label its home. And then anybody else who comes along and who can read English, I'm not really fully convinced every worship and tech team member in our ministry can read English. We're still working on that. But if they can read English, they know that that piece of gear has to go in that bin. So we've got power supplies, long USB cables, quarter inch to XLR headphone extension cables, quarter inch instrument cables. So I can quickly tell a volunteer, it's like, oh man, I forgot my instrument cable at home. I'd like, hey, just go backstage and look for the bin that says quarter inch instrument cables and then open it up, take what you need, put it back. When you're done, very important step, when you're done with the cable, put the cable back in the bin. Don't leave it on the floor. Don't leave it on the stage. Don't leave it in the sound booth. Put it back. I'm not even an organization freak. Adam on our team, he's an organization freak. But to me, it's just a time waster. I really like my environments, even backstage, to just be a place that just makes me happy. So it makes me so happy when I come back here and I see all the bins in their rightful place and it just looks so great. And then we have these larger bins over here. You know, we have a lot of wireless mic gear, just like floating around some older transmitters or some antenna. You know, you get gear and you have a bunch of accessories. It's like, well, I don't want to throw it away, but I want to give it a home. So we put it all in here or we got some additional lighting fixtures. Let's give it a home. The next thing you should also get when you're at Home Depot or, or Lowe's is shelving. So this is the most inexpensive shelving I could find at Lowe's. It's plastic. Yeah, it's not great build quality, but it does the job. It's not like it's moving around very much or anything like that. We're not putting that much weight on it. Um, so this works great. We have up here a couple pianos, and then we have here mixing console, stage boxes, uh, wave servers. You guys are probably wondering why do we have all this extra gear? Uh, it just comes, it just spontaneously appears out of nowhere. Over here, we actually found some of this shelving from a different part of the church. They are changing how they're storing things somewhere else, and this is another idea. You can ask the facilities person at your church or somebody who might know, hey, do we have any additional shelving or bins that we could use to organize our gear for our worship ministry? So shelving is great because it's an amazing technology that allows you to store a greater volume of stuff in less square footage. So let's move on to the next major tip for organization. So we talked about bins, we talked about shelves. This is my next major tip, get a workbench toolbox. We are right now on the other side of the stage. This is kind of the green room here at Grace Church. Uh, someone also decided this week it's also the pantry for Grace Church because there's an event, there's all these snacks, even like a bunch of like marshmallows and stuff. Some Someone decided to make this the food storage for this event. So anyways, but main point is look at this toolbox. So 
let's say I need to find wireless microphones or my wireless in-ear packs because I'm like a worship band member, worship leader coming in. Right here it says wireless in-ears because again, Mr. Label Maker in action, making it easy for me to see what's where. And then it says wireless microphones. This is our top drawer, it's the big wide drawer. So you can see we've got our microphones, we've got our in-ear packs. Uh, usually the worship leader will like put a sheet up here to say who needs to use what microphone and what in-ear pack. Keeps it really simple. And then again, when you look at all these drawers, I like to think of like what are frequently used little things that we need to access and let's clearly label. So like this top level here, we've got DI boxes right here. Also any other like audio interface type gear. We've got a couple Behringer Flow 8s in there. Uh, and then here USB dongles and adapters and little cables. Um, and then we've got uh, space for a uh, computer, ex extra iPads. Over here we've got general tools like screwdrivers, hammers, things like that. We've got uh, tape, Velcro, zip ties, things that are you know made for like securing things down. Then we've got video converters, like all the black magic bi-directional converters, anything that's kind of video related. And then we've got a drawer down here for the photography team for cameras, lenses, caps, all that stuff. I also really like this organizer that we have right here. Um, this is great for in-ear monitoring. You guys might've seen this before at South Fellowship Church. So we put like all of our new batteries, AA batteries in here, um, and then used batteries. This is where people can put them before they're disposed of or recycled. Then we've got like the headphones, like the Shure, SE215s or other in-ear headphones, and then everybody can have their own buds if they would like. So some people bring their own headphones and buds, other people, you know, they just rather just share with other people the headphones and then swap out their own uh, clean buds. So this makes it really easy to organize. And here's the Dymo label maker. Again, this thing can save you so much headache if you make sure you assign a home for everything that you use in your worship ministry. That's it, that's all the tips I have for you for organizing your ministry, saving time and headache, so you can focus more on leading worship, mixing great sound for your congregation, and not so much time sifting through the mess. If you guys want links to all this stuff, I'll put it in our worship ministry toolkit. You can download that free toolkit by clicking the link below this video. Leave a like, let me know how you are actually implementing any organization techniques in your ministry. I love to hear from the community and share this video with your friends who you think could use some uh, organization help. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.